Hello, it's Nick here at Shimmer Ford in Peru, Illinois. Be sure to check us out at shimmerfl.com. Today I'm going to be doing a brief walk around and review of the all new 2015 Ford F-150, completely redesigned inside and out. And of course now it's all aluminum, uh, 700 pounds uh, less than the previous model. And it definitely feels it on the road. It's, it's much lighter and agile truck. Uh, still has that masculine look, especially with this power front end. Really looks good. I love the new headlights. This is an XLT Crew Cab 4x4. Comes in bronze fire. Has the chrome package on it. Uh, bronze fire is a really interesting color. Uh, they had it before. I, I think they've kind of changed it a little bit. It's definitely darker, especially under uh, low light dusk. At night it has a Merlot look to it, but during the day it, it still has that flare depending on which way the sun is hitting it. I love the new headlights. They are really nice looking. I like the chrome bumper with the cutouts for the fog lamps as well. Uh, the new style wheels on the chrome package for an XLT. They're really good looking. And uh, they're actually solid chrome now. They're not chrome clad, which is really nice. New style running boards as well. They've gone to a flat rectangle design instead of that uh, circular design they used to. That's another nice change. Big bold F-150 badging right here. This is a 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Of course you can have an option of getting a 2.7 liter EcoBoost as well, which will get you the best gas mileage. Outside keyless entry keypad. It's still physical, it's not invisible. Chrome handles. And one thing I really wanted to show you that's really cool is the bed light now. You get them on both sides here. Uh, really helps to light up, especially at, at night. This is a factory style spray and bed liner. It is laser precise. It is absolutely perfect. No overspray. Looks gorgeous. Sometimes you get an aftermarket and it's kind of sloppy or it just feels like you could yank it off. But this one is really nice, really high quality. Uh, Ford has kind of gone away from, you should just have a plain tailgate. Now they've taken a cue from Chevy and that, that's what I'd kind of equate it to. Chevy with the 2014 and 15 uh, Silverados went to this sort of flared uh, creased uh, tailgate. Uh, it looks good. Uh, it's definitely very light. You can feel that, you know, it's aluminum. One thing I wish Ford would have would be a, an easy release. They do not have that. It still comes down pretty hard. This is a short bed. Shut that. This one it comes equipped with a backup camera and backup sensors. You can see the little sensors on the uh, bumper there. And the camera is now under here. And I will note the camera has been upgraded. It's really high quality. I'll show you it. Better resolution, better colors. Tow package, of course, you get all your standard little connections there. Love the new tail lights as well. They have that cut out. Really looks sharp. And let's take a look at the interior and see some of the changes inside. This one has a bench seat. Ford has kind of subdued the camel interior. This is the dune or camel interior. Uh, before it was really bright and yellow. Now it's definitely a softer color to it. It looks much better, much more nicer and handsome looking if you do end up going with the dune. Redesign this inside door panel here. It's really got a good solid feeling to it. Everything's put together really well. I love this little insert here to kind of break up the door. Your full power driver seat here. Sort of reminiscent of like a Fusion with power lumbar as well. Speaking of a reminiscent of Fusion, this is the new F-150 key. They've gone away from that uh, old style key and they've, this is like a Fusion key. And it's got the switch blade right there. This one has auto start on it, so uh, more kind of 
brand symmetry that Ford is going over to. Got uh, power adjustable pedals in this one. It, it appears down there. Fog lights. There's your uh, t uh, bed light right there. You hit that and it'll turn it off. Fog lights. Automatic headlights. Those are your dimmer for your uh, instrument panel. Leather wrapped steering wheel. It's very good quality. Feels nice. Of course, tons of controls on the steering wheel. Before I get into that though, let's take a look at the rear or the, the back seats. Same kind of redesign on the passenger door here. Nice solid feel. Again, they break it up on the door panel there. Same method of uh, pulling up the seats. Uh, no handle. It's easy. One hand to pull up the back seats. Has a lever to get it back down. Uh, tons of room, of course. Uh, that hasn't changed. You got a little protector here so you can put tools inside and they're not going to slide around. A new style sliding rear window. You see there the window kind of appears and then you look back here and you can see how uh, they've made the whole back window look like it's it's really big it's looks bigger than it actually is though you can see but I love that little design of the power sliding rear window looks good all right let's get inside and, and check out some of the options on the interior here I'm gonna plug the key in you can kind of see your new instrument panel, the driver dash. Okay, for starters, you got your control panel here. Uh, you have your audio controls right here. You can raise the volume, you can switch your station or your song and change what band you're on. Your voice control here and your phone controls for your Bluetooth. This controls your screen right here. Has an off-road little screen which is carryover from uh, the previous model. It shows you your pitch and yaw also has a towing screen that will get you your trailer options your trip and fuel and just your regular display mode that shows your transmission temperature uh, cruise controls right here uh, lots of changes over here for starters uh, you have this uh, redesigned knob for your shift on the fly 4x4 this one has an electronic locking rear axle which is shifting in a 4x4 I'll tell you right there and you pull it out I'll tell you right down there that your axle's been positively locked. Uh, trailer brake controller, if you can see it, it's down here now. Uh, my Ford touchscreen. Up here you have a uh, traction control button and your hazard lights. Really high quality screen, looks great of course. You got your four corners, you can get to your different screens. Uh, they've tried to keep it as symmetrical as possible if you notice. Chevy did that really well with the 2014 Silverado's Ford's kind of tried to duplicate a little bit. I don't think to as great a success, but it still looks very nice. Uh, you get two plugs over here. You get 400 watt max on that household plug right there. So you could plug in, easily plug in your uh, margarita blender and blend away while on the road. Down here, if you can see this, it's really hard to see, but I'm going to point it out to you. You get an SD port auxiliary input and two USB ports and then a little standard car charger. Uh, you can get a cloth, this is cloth interior, but you can get it equipped with heated front seats, dual climate control. I love this little design here. You have, of course, this is carryover, the fold-up seat on the bench seat, but the little cup holders here which you can actually rotate and hide. So if you don't want those cup holders there, you don't have to. Ford has not changed the design of the folding bench seat. It's still pretty hard to get down. It's a no lever to get back up, but to get down you have to put your little lever. Two cup holders right here. Uh, you get a little foam uh, holder right there for your smartphone. And it's got some storage in here as well. They you actually lost a little bit of storage in there, but not a whole lot. This one has auto dimming rear view mirror right here. They've changed the style of lighting in here. It's more of like a softer white. Uh, and there's your dome lights right there and you can have it where it's on the door or where it's off so they won't come on at all. A little bit of change inside. You got two tiers of storage. You got a hideaway shelf up there and then a regular shelf. And of course you got a little bit right there where if you wanna kind of put something, pens or something that are eventually gonna fly away as you drive, you can do that right there. Overall, love the interior changes. Feels very nice on the inside, very comfortable, very quiet. 
Uh, F-150 was the quietest truck, still is. Uh, Ford has done a great job with mi minimizing uh, road noise and wind noise. Uh, and it's unbelievably light. Really does feel great, uh, no matter what engine you get. And that 700 pounds in weight savings is going to pay off. If you have any questions at all on a new F-150, you can give us a call. We'll be glad to help you. Our number is 815-224-4500. And again, check us out on the web at www.shimmerfl.com. Thank you very much.